Okay, so this is going to be our first video of, I think, three. I think I'm going to make three videos for this. But anyway, it's going to be our first video for uh, day 11 of Unit 3 in Algebra 2. Um, and in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, the fundamental theorem of algebra and polynomial roots um, and what it all means. So starting with fundamental theorem of algebra, um, it simply says, and you can pause the screen and read and write this all down, except you don't really have to. Um, all it really says is if we have a function of nth degree, right? So if I have some polynomial function of x uh, to the nth degree, right? That it's basically going to have this many roots, right? Or actually, that's not what it's saying exactly. This many factors, this many linear factors. Okay, so that many linear factors, which ultimately, yes, means we're going to have that same amount of roots or x-intercepts or zeros or whatever you want to call them. So here we have uh, a bit of an example. Um, so what is the fundamental theorem and now how can we apply it, right? So the fundamental theorem says we're going to have the nth uh, degree of factors. So because this is a third degree polynomial, we should have three linear factors. Okay, so let's see if this is true. So here we have a function. Obviously, it's a polynomial function. And we're going to factor this using grouping. Okay, so this is set up to where I can actually group this out pretty nicely, just like this, how it is. Don't even have to move anything around. Um, I can go ahead and do that. So GCF on the left term, that's just going to be 3x squared. And then we're going to have uh, we're going to be left with, rather, and I don't know why I put it three. Sorry, guys, I'm really tired. Anyway, my GCF would just be x squared, and that's going to leave me with 3x plus 2. And then here on the right, my GCF here is obviously a 3, so I'm going to say plus 3, and I'm left with, again, uh, and again, I keep trying to factor out something that's not there. The factor is 2. I'm tempted to start this video over, but I'm really tired and I'm just going to chug on through. But anyway, GCF is not three. It's two, right? Six and four, are both divisible by two. And uh, that's going to leave me with um, 3x plus two. Okay, so I factor that out and then we see they have a common factor themselves of 3x plus two. So factor out 3x plus two. That leaves me with x squared plus 2, right? So does this prove the fundamental theorem of algebra? Eh, not quite, not quite. But it does tell us that I'm going to have one, two roots, okay? And if we want to be really particular, I can treat this as a sum of squares. I can say that this is x plus the square root of 2i times x minus the square root of 2i. And of course, we still have the 3x plus 2. So there we have three linear factors, right? So it actually does prove it. It's just we have a complex uh, pair of conjugates here that makes it a little bit gnarly. Okay, so our zeros or roots well, that's going to be the same number um, as what we just found. So we've got this set equal to zero, which we conveniently can do and just find the, you know, x-intercepts of now. Uh, we know that we're going to get, so here, one x-intercept is going to be negative two over three. This guy uh, is going to be and this guy, is just going to be plus or minus the square root of 2i. Okay, so could we say these are also uh, x-intercepts? Yes. Duh, because I actually wrote that. X-intercepts, roots, solutions, zeros, whatever you want to call them, they all ultimately, ultimately mean the same thing um, because we end up setting uh, our function equal to zero or replacing y with zero. Okay, so that does it for this video. That is a short little uh, 
nutshell video of the fundamental theorem of algebra. If you have any questions about this, shoot me an email. Otherwise, you know where to find me. Goodbye.